Jin, Kyungi Jang, Doji Young. Well, here we are, guys, in what could be FXO's last game. If this guy here doesn't win, used to be known, as we can see, as Nuclear Foyu. It is now ASD. Yep, and it used to be ASDFOU, yes. you know? And uh, even and FXO even offered to let him put the FXO at the end of his name when right. they switched over AS, AS, the FXO, you know? But he's like, no, no, I'll just go FXO ASD, why not? They were like, all right, well, uh, whatever. <laughs> sure, but whatever, dude. Despite things with his name that may seem a bit odd, he still has to take out this guy here, our Purple Protoss, winning against Gumiho last game. It is Enesosa Sage. Yes, it is. PVT action and ASD opening up with a Supply Depot. I'm shocked. Oh, wow. I'm offended. My sensibilities are gone. Yeah. Well, it's been a while since you could open with anything other than the Supply Depot. Yeah, that's, that's actually true. Barracks, oh, six Rex Reapers. Anymore. No more 11 Supply Thor rushes. <laughs> <laughs> those were the days. Oh, it's my God. It's a great God. build for Steps of War. Yes. But who knows? Those days may come again. Yeah, in some form of a bad map tournament, maybe. Yeah, we might see something like that. Who knows? Hmm. Speaking of new tournaments, <laughs> though, guys, if you haven't heard the news already, we are, of course, running our Tournament of Champions starting next Tuesday, which is going to feature a, a player selected by the teams in most cases, Terran, um, that will actually be battling it out for $12,000 in prizes. And the winner is guaranteed $5,000 and a free trip to IPL4. So yeah, big deal. Very big deal. We have some very top names that are going to be participating in that as well. Um, so hopefully you guys will watch. That starts again next Tuesday. Don't forget, so tomorrow we are going to have the lower bracket finals. If they're hopefully. played tonight, hopefully yeah. cross your fingers. <laughs> Thursday, we're going to have the grand finals. And then Friday, we start with our IPL uh, set over at the Screenburn Expo at South by Southwest. Again, if you guys are anywhere close to Austin, Texas, and you want to come out, uh, our specific match will, of course, be at uh, 5 p.m. And that's, I've almost said Pacific out of habit. It's 5 yep. p.m. Central. Central time. Yeah. Yes. Back it, to my old time zone. Yeah, I know. 24 years spent there. Ah. Yeah, your old time zone, too. Yeah. Yeah. Missouri. Woo. Yep. And, of course, we're going to have TT Esports White Rock going up against Millennium Stefano in a best of nine. Winner takes home $4,000, and the loser still gets that free trip and 1000 bucks. Yeah, not bad. Should be a fun trip. So, yeah, if you're in the area, definitely definitely come down. We'd love to see you there. And so it looks like ASD opening up oh, with okay. a uh, just one Rax for now, but yep. a reactor to start things off. Reactor not building expand. a second reactor. Uh, not build a second reacts. Rax, Reacts. yeah, because he has obviously pulled all of his workers off of the refinery. There. You know, this is actually one of my favorite openings in TVP. Um, it gives you, obviously, a lot of Marines, uh, mm -hmm. double the Marines, in fact, of a command center after barracks. So well, a little bit less than double, but you get the idea. I don't want to go into the actual math, but it gives you a lot of Marines early on. That's the point. You still get the command center relatively quickly, so it keeps you safe. And, you know, you can kind of transition into other things fairly easily from it, too. So nice, safe opening on this smaller map. From FXO ASD, Sage going for a safe build as well, going a gateway into Robo, so we might see an expansion after this. Yeah, probably will. This is I. It's not often you see builds just like this anymore, though. I mean, I think that this is largely a function of the map, which I hope you guys have actually yeah. seen the map pool for IPL4. This map is gone. It's a seven map pool. Uh, it has a Sanchorn Mist, Atlantis Spaceship, Metropolis. Daybreak, Antigua Shipyard, and a couple others as well. Taldra Maltra, and I'm forgetting one off the top of my head, but it's still pretty ridiculous map pool. I'm really happy with it. You know, something I, I'd kind of like to see in some tournaments um, in the future is having a, a smaller map pool that has more games in, like, a finals or something that are on the same map. Like, you actually saw that in Brood War sometimes, where they would have multiple games on the same map in a, in a match. And it's, it's kind of cool because the second game, you're like, all right, is he going to do the same thing he did last time? Brings in a lot of uh, questions, and it's cool to see how the players react to that. So yeah, that that's would be something really that I'd fun. like to see in, in more tournaments. So maybe we will at some point. Maybe, maybe we will. For it. I, I'd like it. I, I would support you on that. Well, so. thank you. Yeah, no problem. It's what I do. I'm cool. a friend. We'll make out little flyers and pass them around the office. We'll be like, support the same map twice in a match. <laughs> People will be like, why did you make flyers? We're like, well, It's just know. cooler that way. You lend yourself more credibility, in my opinion. That's right. A flyer makes you appear much more professional. Yes. If you're running for, like, student body president or something, mm -hmm. flyers, and if you hand out maybe, like, a little piece of candy with that as well, people like that. 
I was too nerdy to win student body president. I never even tried, so <laughs> so we're in for a, a really successful campaign, I think. <laughs> we obviously have I'm lots of worried. experience to draw on. Yep. All right, Bunker being thrown up at the front now for ASD, as he does have three racks producing pretty well. He's got enough gas to eventually move into Stimpak or Combat Shields if he would want to, yeah. but has not done so quite yet. Observer gets a perfect scout, though, and back on Sage's side of things, he does have that Nexus almost finish up and is just producing off of two. Oh, there we go. Gateway's number three and four, so will be four gate robo. Yep. So again, you know, just playing really, really safe. He could actually choose to go for some sort of two base timing with this as well. We'll have to see if he adds on um, like another robotics bay or something like that. Mm -hmm. Could and be interesting. Let's see here now. We do have uh, both Concussive Shells and Stimpak finishing up. Uh, again, Concussive Shells finishes so quickly that you can do Concussive Shells and then throw on uh, combat shields a little bit after that, and they'll finish up at about the same time that Stimpak does. Yeah, it ends up being kind of a similar timing. Pretty close anyway, so you can do that. Two Immortals out here and a bunch of sentries as well, so with a little warping of Zealots, that's going to be a very good defensive force for Sage. Mm -hmm. Sees the army too coming back, so yeah, he's going to produce a few more units here to stay safe. And uh, ASD probably just going to poke a little bit, but not really go too crazy with it. I mean, obviously, this is a timing where Protoss is still pretty strong. But it looks like he might do it. Well, losing wow. a couple of Marines there. Yeah, nice that's... response by Sage to trap some of those. Only a little bit of lost energy. And Sage, he is. This is pretty aggressive for that many bio forces that are sitting out there. Yeah, I mean, especially in a big wide open map like that. But he does have a lot of stalkers coming in behind this, too. Mm -hmm. And, oh, does ASD have enough bunkers for this? I don't know. He's, He's building one. a second one in a hurry. Yeah, the second one's got a long way to go before it's completed, though. We might see, yeah, we, I might, we might actually see Sage just go for it. He's got two Immortals here going after some of the supply depots on oh. the low ground. Oh, he could control that better. He has three Immortals right now. Wow. So right. He is going for it. Yeah, three Immortal push. He doesn't have a, oh, he does have a forward pilot, I think, sitting down at the bottom, and he's yes, picking he off might. these supply depots. That's so smart. There's no production going to be utilized from uh, ASD for a while, and he's just going to go for it. One of the bunkers goes wow. down right away. A second taking a considerable amount of damage, and it's going to fall in just a second. Oh, no. he gets it. He does get it, but that's still a lot of bio forces for ASD, so Sage needs to be careful here. He needs some more reinforcements for this. Yeah, Sentry control has been very, very good, though. He is warping right. in more sentries, as a matter of fact. No more damage output. Just wants to make sure he gets down those force fields. Yep. Going for double forge as well. Interesting that he's being so aggressive while going for this uh, big-time double forge macro guilt build behind it. Does he have enough? Um, is there stim yet? There is indeed. He needs to split this perfectly. I don't know if he did. That's a lot of forces still out there for oh, ASD. Man. Is he going to be able to crash through this? God, those immortals are so strong, though. They're just puncturing their way through oh, the marauders. Wow. Yes, indeed they are, Whoa. and with another warp in here, Sage should be in great shape. He needs to pull back to that pylon, though. Yeah. Yes, he does, and oh, they're producing some stalkers and a few more zealots. It's going to be good. Sage really playing with fire here. Okay, he is going home. All right, <laughs> I think that's a good decision. <laughs> He's actually a little bit lucky that he managed to keep those three immortals. Yeah. That was maybe a little bit too aggressive, but it did manage to kill a lot of ASD's forces. Um, it did kind of uh, make him worry a little bit. It did get Sage a nice supply advantage, and he's going to be able to kill the rocks at that gold base very quickly with those immortals, too. He killed 12 workers on top of that, so... Yeah, not bad at uh, all. Yeah, he's... Sage is looking good, man. Uh, FXO is in very real danger of being knocked out of this tournament. Yeah, no kidding. I mean... I'm shocked. Um, I mean... Well, I honestly predicted FXO to come through the winner's bracket, and I, I'm not trying to mean any offense to Nisosa or anything like that. I really thought they were going to take this match. Well, I mean, it's it's just simple fact. I mean, uh, FXO has a better, deeper lineup than uh, NSOSA does, but that doesn't mean that NSOSA players can't come in and perform exceptionally well, and that's exactly what we've seen here. And boy, oh boy, they are. I mean, this has been, this has been exciting to watch. Um, and Sage is now going to have great upgrades. He's going to have his Templar Archives done a little bit as well. Taking a look back on ASD side of things, he does have one more bunker up, but it looks like Sage may be thinking about round number two. Gonna He's just going to push ahead with it. Uh, or is he? All right, he takes out that bunker as well. Yeah. And that He's going to get a second. There it goes. Wow. He's got enough sentries left over. He just walks up, kills 200 huh. minerals worth of stuff, and walks away. And he's just doing such a good job of just keeping ASD scared. You know, he's keeping him on two bases. He's, well, he's trying to anyway. He's just kind of making ASD remake those bunkers, worry about attacks and things like that. Um, and ASD, has he used any scans yet on his opponent? Um, I'm actually not sure. Okay, looks like he must have just... Well, no, that he was has. the SCV. No, that was the SCV oh, the that SCV ran around. So. That's right. Yeah, he did manage to get in there and see that. So that's a good idea what's going on. Did he see the gold base, though? That's... 
Uh, I wonder that here. I don't know about. Oh, Sage really no. still is playing very, very risky here. I mean, mm -hmm. having that army out there on a big wide open map where force fields don't mean a whole lot. He still has those three immortals. He's got a decent amount of zelts, but they don't have charge or anything yet. He is pulling back now. I think that's a good decision. Yeah, a little but he's, bit too dangerous to fight him in the open like that. He's pulling back to Storm now. He's still got those three Immortals. He's sitting on 1-1 one, yeah. one upgrades. He's going to have charge in a bit and have a gold with... Um, let's see. He's already sitting on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Soon to be 8 gates. My god. He's going to go into just monster production mode. ASD. He needs an incredible engagement here. He is producing three ghosts. And if he can get those perfect EMPs, he may be able to turn things around. Well, with that gold base, Sage is going to be able to make so many charge lots, and those are going to be really, really excellent when it comes to the engagement. I mean, charge lot plus storm is going to work great. Mm -hmm. It's going to be good for defending drops as well, which is also something that he kind of is going to need to worry about too. But, um, you know, ASD making the right call and going for ghosts a little bit heavier than uh, Medivax. As you can see, not going for that drop play. Instead, just kind of keeping his army in one big position. Mm -hmm. Wants to make sure that he doesn't die to anything while he's trying to do any sort of cute drops or anything like that. And Sage making sure that he's not going to die to those drops, man. Keeping the, everything inside of his base now. Uh, but we, of course, know nothing like that going to hit. Looks like ASD is going to make one big push here. And what's standing in his way? He scans, doesn't see much. Will that give him the time to get into position? No. Actually pulling back to the Zelnaga and spreading out his units for now. Yep. Marine's doing a little bit of scouting there. And, uh, well... That, you did see the army, that's that's for sure. Yes, you did. And here's the engagement. Oh, oh. ASD. Yeah. Uh-oh, Ghost coming forward. Looks like they want to launch some EMPs. Waiting. The waiting game is so tough. Yep, just like Tom Petty says, the wait is the hardest part. Oh, nice feedbacks on the Ghost. Oh, my God. Really Perfect. well done. Perfect feedbacks. We have a couple more ghosts in the back. They now have enough for EMPs as well, but the charge lots have already closed. Are the EMPs going to be enough? Let's see uh, here. I, think, I don't know, man. So many charge lots, and the Immortals backing this up as well with that six range. They are just tearing apart this army. Oh, my God. I think Sage may have done it. I think if he, he can continue pushing through with this, and he is going to knock ASD out, and thus FXO is going to be eliminated from the tournament. Oh, man. Those Marines are not going to stand a chance. The Archon's coming in as well. 121 supply. Oh, GG. To the low ground. GG wow. indeed. FXO is out. NS Hosa advances 5-2. What a great played series yeah. out of them. Yeah.